Today we want to discuss how businesses will eventually adopt complete blockchain solutions that are usually created by some other entity, a provider, that is seeking to solve an industry problem. So what I want to do is show you about IBM. Now IBM, you go to their website and you look for ibm.com slash blockchain slash solutions. You'll run into a page here that shares how they have adapted various blockchains to focus on various different uh, disciplines within the world of finance and business. So let's, let's take a look first at at Trade Lens and see what they have to offer here. The Trade Lens Container uh, Logistics Solution is a solution that started um, back in 2010 about. Uh, I have a whole video on this and I'll share that link in the comments. But what's happening here is that over time, Trade Lens has grown to be a solution now for the likes of Maersk shipping, Hapag Lloyd and Sealand, all three of which are very visible and recognizable, at least to me on the United States roads, a total of 16 shipping companies that are very large in scope are part of this particular blockchain. As they continue to get bigger and bigger density, it allows them to have more and more distribu distribution in the various nodes that are run by each of these companies. And it becomes safer. Uh, their data is kept much safer. The more distributed it becomes, the more number of places that a, node, a full node is kept that allows them to keep their data secure and, and free from being, uh, being tampered with along the way. This blockchain has saved a lot of money for each of these companies because it has allowed them to seamlessly load a container onto their ships have the bill of lading and all the paperwork in line ready to go. And then all they have to do is share that digital bill of lading with the places where they unload. So all of those customs and places that have to inspect and understand what's on each container at each of the ports has all that information at their fingertips. And of course, besides just the full nodes that are running by those 16 different shippers, you also have customs agencies, other trucking firms, and you have all of the, the supply chain, so to speak, the logistics chain from beginning to end in, engaged in this blockchain for carrying these particular containers through these shipping lines. It has made a, a significant impact in that world. The next one I wanna share with you is the IBM Food Trust. Now I've done several videos on, on this one as well. And um, you'll notice that Walmart is using the IBM Food Trust. In fact, there's several videos on YouTube that where the CEO actually goes and talks to different trade groups about the benefits that they're getting because they're using the IBM Food Trust and it has allowed them to be much more transparent as to where their food is coming from and where it's being sold and delivered to the stores. And it allows them, if there's, if there's any sort of contamination, to zero in to exactly where that came from, which farm, which location in the country, where it came from so that they can quickly identify the, the source of the contagion, get rid of it, cut that out of their supply chain, and then fill it with other things. This has solved problems such as the the scare that they had with the romaine lettuce that was coming out of California somewhere. They destroyed millions of dollars worth of romaine lettuce and produce because they couldn't identify which farm it actually came from. So they had to be safe rather than sorry and completely shut down that particular supply of romaine lettuce pretty much in all of California. So this allows Walmart to zero in exactly where it came from instead of shutting down an, an entire supply of a particular commodity. Other places that are part of this is Golden State Foods, which on the West Coast is a major distributor of produce and, and uh, food goods to the regular grocery stores, to all the way from mom and pop grocery stores up to the Albertsons and Safeways and larger grocery shopping areas of the world. 
Another member of the IBM Food Trust that I have done a video on is the No Seafood, K-N-O-W, Seafood. They have a beautiful website that you, where you can order fresh seafood. And when you order it, you can look at the supply chain and see exactly where in the world that particular seafood came from. You see when it was harvested, you see when, where it went along its journey, whether it traveled by truck or by plane. It's really, uh, really quite nice. They use a, a software with their website called Storybird. And I did a video on Storybird too. So you can go look at that, the software that's connected there as well. So let's move on. The next one is the IBM tr Blockchain Transparent Supply. This one is used in the pharmaceutical area mostly where you can then trace the product that has come all the way from the original suppliers. It has been able to cut down a lot of red tape in getting supplies to make medicines from the supplier all the way to the actual pharmaceutical company that does the mixing and dispensing and, and distributing to the pharmacies. So literally this has saved an awful lot of effort because there are certain laws in most countries that require you to know exactly where the ingredients came from. So if there's ever any contamination or question about the viability of the, uh, of the product of the pharma, in particular, you can zero into exactly how it was formulated, when it was formulated, and how it got from the supplier through your pharmacy and to the distrib distribution uh, area, whether it's a retail pharmacy or a mail order pharmacy. So this one has made significant uh, strides in, in creating a transparent supply chain for the pharmaceutical industry. And it really, it came out of the COVID-19 uh, virus need to transport and distribute um, mass amounts of vaccines as they were created in the pharmacy and needed to be distributed worldwide. So a lot of work went into getting this particular uh, supply chain totally transparent and meet all the laws along the way. So what we're basically saying is that business will eventually adopt blockchain complete solutions that are created by a solution provider that sought to solve an industry problem. IBM is one of those solutions providers and they're making significant inroads into solving many of the worldwide problems that exist uh, in global business. If you like what you heard here today, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel and, and hit the notification button so you can see that uh, see other videos that are coming out. And I hope to see you again. Thanks.